Hey, what's going on guys? Today we will be doing another Strixhaven draft today where I actually try to learn how to speed up my game a little bit. Maybe I have learned the new things the, to go a little faster. But anyway, let's play a little Strixhaven. Multiple choice is one of the better cards you can draft here. Mostly you want to go all the way for the uh, X's four or more, so you do all of it. You scry, draw a card, bounce creature of their choice, and then you get a 4-4. Excellent, excellent card. Um, yeah, excellent card. Um, I am going to go ahead and take that. Uh, other cards here that I would consider... You know, uh, this is good for blue-red. Uh, claim Fitzporn and all that stuff. That's fine. But we're going to definitely do the excellent, excellent blue card here. All right, what do we have here? Nothing great for blue. Uh, let's see here. I'm, I definitely want to play that for sure. Two cards of your library, put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest on the back. Library of any order. It is a um, instant as well. Um, okay. Whenever you're, this guy attacks, you may put an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to the bottom of your library. If you do, exile the top two cards. That is quite good as well fits into blue red the blue unless you're splashing it which you definitely can splash this card we'll either go into blue green or blue red as those are the two viable colors we'll go ahead and take this uh five drop here see how that pans out dina is extremely good if you're going to the black green life gain you lose when you gain a life, they lose a life, and then you can sack creatures to get a plus X plus O until at end of turn, and it can get really big really soon. Uh, once again, no blue card, so we have to kind of consider um, doing some other things at this point. Uh, if we go blue green, uh, those are quite good because you're accelerating up. We're staying with uh, blue red. There's uh, this here, but uh, let's see here. We have 23 seconds. There's the land trolls, whatever. Couple good black, red, black, green cards here. I'll just do the land. Just do the land. I could be dead wrong with that. Get over land. All right, next pack here. We got a blue red land. We got a uh, air list. We have an opt, which is great. Sequence is good if we go the blue green route for some acceleration. There's a biomathematician there. Um, 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 um. um. Air list, but they come around. I'm just going to take the opt here. Nice cheap spell here. This is more of a five drop. We're just going to take the opt. Opt for the opt. I like arcane subtraction quite a bit. Uh, what's this one do? When you cast a copy of insert sorcery, target creature you control has base power two. So that could be a two two flyer as well. If we do go that route, that could be very good. I do love burying books, though. I think I'm just going to go with burying books here over Symmetry Stage. I'm not really sure if that's correct at all. We're going to try it. All right, next pack here. All right, there's no, like, really strong cards of co colors I'm not playing at this moment. Uh, this draws a couple cards. If I have another creature, it draws another one. It's more of a blue-red card. Uh, that's a counter spell. 
I don't really want this at this point. Uh, counterspell or do we take some card draw? We don't have any card draw yet. There's a few counterspells in the format. I don't think I need that right away. Let's just take the card draw at this point. I don't know if that's right as well. Witherbloom Apprentice, nowhere near that. It looks like um, Witherbloom is possibly uh, open, but I think I'll take my first um, lesson at this point. I don't have any learn at this moment, but I will pick up learn. This is a fine one. You can use it in a pinch. Uh, I can also have the seer as an option here, um, but um, those usually come around later, so I'll go ahead and pick my first um, lesson here. Hmm. Black green, black green. So green seems to be open. I only have one red card. Let me go ahead and like dip into some green here. This is really good if you do get the um, uh, man acceleration going as well. Yeah, faithless looting, which helps with the spells matter. A second one of that, I don't have any um, learns yet. Or uh, learns yet, so that's maybe not the best. As we take looting here for some more card draw, some early interaction, not interaction, but um, stuff I need to do early if need be. Hmm. But I'm not seeing much red, that's the thing. I'm seeing a little bit more green. Charge through is really good if you're doing, uh, have these um, uh, fractal tokens. So I might take charge through over curate here, but I'm blue X at this moment. Honor Troll is a filler. This is a blue-red card. You get a, one of your sorceries back. But it's quite slow. And we all have all these expensive drops here. All these expensive drops. Now here's a three drop. Uh, favors green there. There's sideboarding. Three cards of your library, you may reel a creature, land card from among them. So it looks like we're leaning towards um, towards uh, green blue. Malvina, 246. But this card's absurd. Tempted by Auric is absolutely absurd in whatever color combination you do. Gain to control of target creature uh, three or less. Uh, very excellent card. Um, I think I'll just pass $3 this time. Um... 246, yep. Yeah, we'll just take this. Leaning towards, um... Blue... Green? This is fine card. Sword Plowshares is excellent, but we don't have any white cards. Poet's Quill is excellent, but we don't have any black cards. Alright, 28 seconds. I'd like uh, subtraction quite a bit. 14 cents for that. 
Poet's Quill. It's three cents. Swords. Okay. We took our card. Oh, uh, what do we have here? Ooh, divide by zero is really good. Return targeted spell or permanent to your owner's hand. Bounce spell plus learn. We only have one lesson. But that can always change. I also like reflective golem if you have things that target uh, your own creatures. But yeah, we're going to go with divide with zero. Basic conjuration. Look at the top six cards of your library. Reveal a creature among them and put the put into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. You gain three life. And it's a lesson. Got the Quandrix Prodigy. Got a Serpentine Curve. I think I need two drops, and this guy is quite excellent as well. Put a land card, it accelerates, and then when you get later in the game, it um, can let you draw two cards. Just gonna check the price of the basic conjuration. And uh, Silver Quill. Command. 12 cents, okay. Reserver and Sil Silver Quill is gonna be, I don't know how the guys to my left are like, not those colors. Not like I was passing much of uh, blue or red or green. They might have opened something and like decided to switch. You never know. You never know. Vortex Runner is fine. It's another black green. Excellent card. I don't know if I was supposed to be black green. My blue is quite good. Get this red out of here right now. All right, we'll take the runner. It's a decent card. Nothing special. Uh, Pledge Mage is good. A 5 5 is just beastly in this format. That's decent as well. Nothing spectacular, though. Doubt Dark Rituals worth anything. We're just going to take the uh, beefy boy. Beefy boy. Airlist versus airlist. Okay. Take the airlist here. Bayou Goff. The lessons and learn cards are being taken early at this table as well. Guess I'll just take this as a probably just a five mana five four, but pretty big in this format. Neil to Drake's just kind of filler, but I don't have any early drops. It'd be nice to have that. Oh, emergency sequence is good. Get a basic land so it accelerates you. Definitely gonna take that. Test summoning is good too, um, but we're, we're just going to take the acceleration again. Got the counter spell that wield. Yep, take the counter spell. Here, not much. We're just going to take the claim for the sideboard. Well, not for the sideboard. We're just going to take it. We take this. We want some more of the um, um, big guys, like the um, plus X plus X, the uh, invocations, maybe some uh, serpents, stuff like that.
Yep, yep, yep. Text fine. Nothing special. Like I would have had like uh Quill, the uh black white um uh whatever you call it, the black white um you know spell. Uh what is it? Interventions or something like that? Maybe not interventions. That's a penny. All right, we have golden ratio that sometimes draws some cards. Uh, what else do we have here? Thanks, Skin Veil, golden ratio. We have a uh, lesson card, but it's only fine. Hmm. This does nothing, right? This might be... Oh, I'm not even playing that color. Uh, and let's just take the creature. I'm not sure what's right there. Titans, whatever. Yeah, this is annoying. That's an excellent, excellent card. Uh, I don't think I can splash that. This is some acceleration, which is fine. Hmm. Guess we just take the acceleration. I don't think the Dagamore is worth anything. Dagamore Titan, seven cents. Uh, how do I get into green exactly? I'm not really sure, but I'm here now. I think I'll just take the acceleration again. Hopefully, we got some uh payoffs. Another acceleration. There's a Phoenix. I don't think Phoenix is worth anything. Not really sure on these prices yet. Penny. Oh my gosh. We have environmental sciences, which can fix, but I don't know if we need to fix. Nothing here. Just go for pure acceleration. Cram session we have. Hmm. This is tough. I'm not loving it. Manti, the random uh, two drop creature that will slow people down a little bit. Um, uh, man. Another one of these, this did not wield the other one. Didn't matter, I wasn't gonna take it though. Hmm. 30 seconds. Guess I'll just take a lesson here, I suppose. Over the uh, two drop Drake. There's cards here. Okay. All right, we have Invocation, which I think is really great in my deck. Pledge Mage is great. I have a lot of spells or not a lot? I have a good amount of spells. Let's just take the early drop. Pleasure Mage is pretty great. Do enjoy Snow Day. Nice tempo card. Can win the games at the end. Wow, math petition pop quiz.
just going to take the meth tish. Yeah. yeah. Take this as a nice lesson. Target art, fake enchantment. Now I'll take the aerialist. Tangle trap for the board. Take the learn card here over the Drake. Not the optimal learn card for this deck, but uh I think it's fine. All right, sideboard probably. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's see, we're not gonna, well, we could, I guess, play that as a scry land. All right, what are we doing here? We're cutting seven cards here. Seven cards to be cut. What seven cards are we cutting here? Let's see. Keep, keep. I only got one of these, unfortunately, but that's fine. These are all excellent. One learn card. I think I need that for the second learn card. Five, eh, maybe not. I mean, I could sack one of the biomathematician things, I guess. Fortifying drought. Fortifying drought. I don't like this card. Watch well, it be really good stat wise. But. Break goes away. If I had more of the big guys, I think I might have done charge through, I think. Some card draw. Huh. All right. What are my weakest cards here?
All right, let's get rid of the counter spell. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of one of these. I'll keep one scry land in here. I know it's a tap land, but... Got a couple strong cards here. we just go for it and hopefully the number one oh lands black all right Important stay hydrated, y'all. All right. Hopefully I can play faster as well. Oh, shoot. shoot. Oh, did I make one too many cuts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 22 cards, so I get one. What do I want? Maybe I'll just take this. Counterspell. Counterspell. All right, let's go for it. Here we go. I want to see if uh, number one works too. Uh, it's a pretty good hand. Accelerate into this higher stuff. Versus pushing daisies. Ah, it does work. Oh, shit. That's so much quicker than me. Click, 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 click. All right, we're going to get a forest here. Yeah, uh, yeah, last time I, uh, could have won the games if I didn't time out. I was doing plays, clicking here, and I had to go all the way over here to click, um, okay, every time. I didn't, I didn't realize there was a hotkey, um, one, hit the number one.
All right, just pass here. We've counter spell up. Draw some cards, sure. Attack here with some counterspell backup. What do we have here? Five, six mana. It's not like I can cast anything else. All right, what do we got in your hand here? Fast dog, thrill. That guy's good. Double strike. Time damage to a player. You may cast target insert search for frame engraver with pan. Wow, that guy's absurd. Wow, this guy's deck's good. Well, this card's average, but it's. He has a bunch of rares in his hand. mana I could cast this but I want more value I don't know if that's greedy or not Can I see his, uh, okay, wait, that's not his hand. I think that's right. I wonder if there was a way for me to... 
see what their um their hand was like keep it up i see other people do it All right, beefy boys, let's go. So he has the first strike dude, double strike guy. Competition player. Okay. Swing, swing, if he block, double blocks or something, I can bury him books one of his blockers. Six mana. I think I'm just going to leave burying books up. Two four fours. Sure. Oh, it's this. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. There's all the top four cards. Effigy. All right. Five mana, I think I just attack with the um, five five again. If he double blocks, I'll bounce the uh, three three back to his hand. All right, three, four, flyer, okay. He has a lot of rares. He has a lot of rares. That's like four rares he has. Okay. Two, one, you got a instant sorcery on top of your library. Four rares, nice.
Hmm. I'm just going to return that, which is not optimal for me. So let's attack with 5-5. Five five. You can choose double block if he wants. Yeah, that seems fine. Scry one, draw a card. Uh, all right, you're up. Inertia. Three, three, sure. I have rears too. I have rears too. Uh. Nice. All right, we took that one, and we're a little faster. We pushed uh, the number one, which was crucial. Get some hydration power in here. All right, sideboard. Yeah. Flyers. He does have the one flyer, the three four flyer. Let's get that in for the flyer. And I think we'll get rid of. Maybe one of the zero list.
All right, let's go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, fine hand. Do I cast Opt right away? That's the question. I don't think so because I don't exactly know what I want to draw. I have lands. So I don't know if I opt and a lands up. If I, um. So we'll just pass. I think we do the Mentor's Guidance X2. If he kills the guy, it's only X1, but that's fine. I think he would have killed it before, so I don't get the uh, mana acceleration. Wizard. Wizard, yep. Scry one draw card. We'll keep that. Need some lands. We need another land, though. Sure, we'll keep them both. One for double strike, sure, sure, sure. Accelerating. Sure, you get it twice. Nice. Noise, 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 noise. Five, sure, sure, sure.
I like this card. We'll keep that. Hmm. Seven mana, eh? What's the most efficient? So this is five. I can do this. Two cards left. Sure. It's not doing too much. Okay. Sure. Time warp again. Three turns in a row. Nice. What are you going to do with those turns? He concedes after three turns. <laughs> okay, there we go. And with some good cards coming up. He had like five rares, but I played a rare too, so that was kind of unfair. Uh, so I'm going to just mark quickly. Down here, win. Uh, red. Blue. Win. All right. All right, let's go for another game. Hydrate, hydrate. Oh, it's hydrate. Uh, looks fine. Combo. Such a sick combo. Dark Jedi. All right, same plan as you. I don't know what other colors you are. You don't know what other colors I am. I'm blue. I am blue. Something's good. Pump. 
pump my dude up like for worse blocks. You can just cast a 4 3. Or. Attack with this and next turn do it. Cast my 4 3 now. Yeah, I'll just attack with 2 2. Eh, you know what? Attack with both. Sure. All right, he's black green. Sure. Is this a one three? Nah, I want to put pressure. Land down. Need one more land for that, but that's fine. Uh... Creature, we'll just sack. Chirp. So he drew Swamp had that in hand. Legendary creature, though, right? Can't do that. Yeah. Can't do that in this game. Unlucky. Let's see, if I tech, tech. If I tech with everything, what happens? He blocks here. I think I just attack with everything here. He might have a trick, but it gets a trick out of his hand. He has awkward blocks. Pump. 
Ok Spear that guy Sure Seven. Guidance. Mm, I'd rather have one that comes into play untapped. Like that. No, they has a good chance of just winning it here. Nice. So there's two of the one three guys. I don't think I have anything. Nope. Let's just run it back. It's good him. That's fine him. I think I'll opt this time. I don't think I want any lands. I have four lands here, so. Lash. Lash. Oh, sure. I got duress too. Pick your, whatever. Yeah. Five, four, done. Alright, we went nice and quick there. He was screwed on land both times. No green one game, no um, black the other game. Alright, we're against uh, green... God dang it. Green, black, and we won. Alright. It's for my notes later. Alright, let's do the third one. See if we can go 3-0. See if we can go 3-0. Baby. Let's go! Hydrate!
We're up against Pocahontas 55. Out of play first. That's fine, not great, but we'll keep. This should throw him off. Skyland's good to have. Impulse did not make the cut for me. I could be wrong. Could be the bonkers. <clears throat> Blue green. Flying Death Touch, you got it. Give me a creature. Excellent. That means he's playing on blocking, which is fine. I don't mind if my professor goes down. Let's see what we got here, guys. Nice. Or I can even do multiple choice too, but. This has less targets. I'm going to keep the counter spell mana open. That's why I'm not attacking with that. So if he does have a bounce spell, it's going to take two turns and really tempo him. Tricksters fine.
Come on in. What's this? Uh, four tap? Can scry as well. Eight or more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. hand that doesn't do anything He's going to tap that down again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. <sighs> Tap that. Five, six, seven.
Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Attack with the 6-6. Six, six. A lot of land, we can cram session and loot. Multiple choice is not great versus him right now. He can just return his frost tricksters. Okay. I think I go cram session just um loot or whatever. Two cards left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. At Thirteen. I think I want to kill something. I can just target this. And it'll just die without me paying any penalty. Target. Okay. Cannot block. Counterspell might help here. Is it seven? Or I deal with this guy here. Or actually, I can deal just with, with one of them. He has destroy target artifact enchantment in his hand and a sorcery lesson. Let's see what else you got here. Worm. Two bookworms. Two bookworms, eh? Three tricksters. Two bookworms, three tricksters. Kelpie guide. Two of the drakes. Two runners. Is that solid? Nice. He has a strong deck. So he has Snow Day, he has two of the Drakes, he has three of these tricksters, two bookworms. Hmm. So I need evasion versus this guy. Alright, what's no good versus him? Still want my big guys, I think. I can accelerate up to him pretty well. I think these guys are better than average versus him.
<clears throat> Maybe I get rid of cram session. Let's see what do we have here. Big reach guy. Five damage target flyer. It's the only thing I have. So he has two of these guys. Yeah, let's go for it. Two bookworms. Let me opt for some more lands. Bookworm, bookworm. Three of the tap flyers. Kelpie guide. Vex is four or more, so five mana. He does have counterspell as well, though. X is four or more, eh? Five mana. Okay, he's doing the trickster thing. He has like five of them.
If I attack, I can bounce this guy back up top. He loses that tempo again. Let's go. I have a couple bounce balls in my hand, a couple fine creatures in my hand as well. My board's pretty good. What will you do, opponent? What do you choose to do, my friend? Bum, 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 bum. He has Fight Spell. He has Worm Worm. Three of these guys. Uh, one of the counter spells. He has a Fractal. Uh, what else does he have? Um, he has two of these. One of these, two of these, three of these. Can't even remember what else he has. I didn't see any of these. I can do about that. Okay, end step. So he could have a bounce spell, bearing books. But we'll see. Upkeep effect. He's untapping something, sure. So he has six mana. I think I'm good with divide by zero here. He gets it back. But it's also tempo. here. Come in for nine.
I think I just cast Professor here over the flyer. He does have Snow Day, but that taps him out for the turn. He's at six here, so his blocks are awkward. He can't Snow Day. That is a thing he can do. But one of these um, three guys will be able to get through. I'll take out the flyer. So my 3-1 has a little bit more uh, room to rain. Bup, bup, bup. doing snow day now he's doing snow day now okay Nothing there. Could just attack with this. He could double block. So I have seven mana. Just coming with the four three, I guess. Take out his flyer. Er. Keep my guy alive too. Adventure, sure. Uh, Drake, sure. I can just take that idiot. So I take. And then he goes block, block, take six.
Coming on in. Nice! Trophy! Trophy, everybody! That's only my third draft online. 2 1 yesterday's something where I didn't know how to do time. A very good deck here. We go 3 0. Uh, with a very good blue green deck here with the uh, steal a creature card and we had the um, god I don't even know the card names I wrote it down somewhere here uh, multiple choice that's the card anyway thank you for watching this video here of Magic the Gathering Strixhaven <laughs> uh, best of three where I take it down uh, if you want to check me out on Twitch I'm there as well as Rolling Rock Dave, 33, and as always, have a great rest of your day.